What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is good to see you here today on the Speak and See Show. I just want to say I'm sorry I did not get a video out yesterday, but it was Mother's Day, and we take that very seriously around this house because, uh, well, I'm a father of four kids, and uh, I am a mother. My mom has three boys, me, my two older brothers, and I got to give great honor and respect to all those mothers out there who wipe noses and change diapers, and uh, we know that that was the easy part for your mothers. It was easy wiping the noses and changing the diapers. When they got older, when we got a little older, we are a little hard on you. We want to apologize to all those mothers who we have hurt in the past, and we want to say thank you so much for bearing with us, Mom, and we love you all very much. I want to say thanks again for watching Speak and See. I want to ask that you all like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Guys, if I hadn't if I hadn't heard it this year, I heard a, something about a great reset. And I was thinking, yeah, boy, whatever, a reset. What are they going to do to reset? Well, <laughs> feels like they're doing it because they're trying to take the middle class small businesses out first. I, I see it. The middle class can go away. We just need the highs and the lows. Then we'll deal with the highs later and then we'll make them. Schumer. Thanks to the American Rescue Plan and the Treasury Department's announcement this morning, we can finally say that help is on the way to state and local governments. Eligible state, territorial, city, county, and tribal governments will be able to access funding directly from the Treasury Department in the coming days. State and local governments now need to file applications with Treasury. Once they're processed, money will begin flowing. Let me say that again. State, local, and tribal governments should prepare to file applications with the Treasury Department for assistance. And I am told the assistance will be quickly forthcoming. And state and local government is not only available, it is flexible. Came out today on the floor with S513? No, actually I checked out the agenda people. It ain't gonna be happening this week, just to let you know that. But he came out and he said, hey, I am giving more money from the American Heroes Act to the state and local governments to do as you please with. Reset. The Biden administration deserves credit for providing clear guidance and broad categories for spending the money, letting states make their own decisions about how to allocate funds to recover from the pandemic and address immediate needs. Whether it's to port public health systems, small business, necessary infrastructure, hard hit industries like tourism, or premium pay for essential workers, states can use the funding we passed in the American Rescue Plan to help their constituents and their economy recover in a variety of ways. The Treasury Department's announcement today begins the process of delivering the resources our states and municipalities need to prevent layoffs. He mentioned giving funding to small businesses and preventing layoffs. Now, if the government's going to be preventing the layoffs for the small businesses, isn't that what the grant was for? keep essential services running, and boost Main Street businesses from one end of the country to the other. I was proud to successfully push for robust state and local funding in the American Rescue Plan, and I will continue to work with the Biden administration as this funding is distributed. I yield the floor. No, I don't yield the floor. Now that you watched that, and you're probably a little bit frustrated saying, where's my idol? I uh, don't know. Somebody say, hey, I want my 10K. Yeah. Now, he went on further to say that this, that, and the other thing with the Congress and the, and, and the, the states can do whatever they want to. He went on with that. But that's part of the Great Reset, and the reset is real, people. It is real, and it is probably happening to you. It's been since mid-February when I filed my idle loan. Anybody else in that boat? Yeah, man, the good news. Remember, we're all happy. Yay, we get 24 months of working capital. Yeah, and what have you, what have you. Well, I called him up today. I'm getting really irritated with my uh, application for increase. has been out there for almost three months. Haven't heard a word from nobody. So I'm going to find out. I'm going to call him right now. I'm going to call tier two number. I'll put that up uh, uh, here for you to read as well so that uh, you can have uh, that information. If you wanted to call tier two and find out what's up with your application, let's do this. Let's see, you know, I love it how people say, oh, I have an inside scoop with the SBA agent. 
I, my source at the SBA. If you ever hear somebody say that, I would, I would question who their inside scoop is because what they're feeding you out of the, when I hear somebody say, I have an inside source and they told me this, I hear them sugarcoating something crap that, that, that really is not at all what it is because even Hannibal where the OIG inspector, inspector of the office of inspector general of the SBA said, they're not even letting me in the room to, to when they're having their meetings. So I can't, I can't tell you what's going on. So if somebody says my inside source at the SBA told me this, yeah, whatever. Um, they won't talk to me. So I don't think they'll talk to really anybody because it's very, anyway, let me uh, go ahead and, and find out what's going on with our applications here. In the order in which it was received. Available representative. Hello, and thank you for calling the SBA Customer Service Center. My name is John, agent number one. How could I help? Yeah, hi, John. I was calling about my uh, application for an increase that I had put in about three months ago. I was wondering what the holdup was. Okay. Okay, what is your application number? It's 330. All right, and what is your last name? All right, let's look at me one moment here. Let me load that up. And Mr. Like, could you verify the last four digits of your social security number, please? Thank you, sir. All right, it's going to get some updates here. Okay, you haven't received any recent emails? No. I, I got okay. an email for a targeted idle advance grant probably about two months ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more than, a little over a month ago, but I, I didn't fill that out because I know I'm in the right. wrong area. Okay, yeah, it looks like they were trying to, had tried to reach out. So, um, see here oh they tried emailing me yeah well look yeah they we would have sent an email out on the 29th of oh. march huh i didn't get anything okay so i'll resend that yeah basically so there is a there is a decline letter and so, yeah, they would have sent that out. It looks like they even tried to call a few days before that. So let me see here. So it was a de decline letter? Right. Yeah, there was a decline. Um, and what I will have to do is I'll send that to you just so you can review that. And then there are steps uh, you can take uh, to have that revisited and uh, reconsidered. So let me see. So what is your primary email address? Okay, well, I'll set that out here shortly. And like I said, there's steps. Um, you know, you can request a, a reconsideration on that. And so. Okay, maybe. thank you very much. And if you have, yeah, if you have, yeah, if you have any other questions, just give us a call. We're here at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. Um, is there anything else I can help you with today? Nope, that's it. I appreciate your help. All right, sir. You're welcome. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I'm crying because I just read this letter, and I'm, I'm not crying that I got declined. I'm, I'm crying because small businesses are in trouble. Check out this letter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what I'm trying to uh, prepare you for. At this time, we're unable to approve your request because you have received the maximum eligibility of six months of working capital permitted under the program. Right. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. I Six months. I thought it was 24 months. Why am I getting a decline letter saying received the maximum eligibility for six months? So here they are um, telling me what I need to do in order to fight this thing. But here's what I'm telling you to do. Don't mail in your request. Don't go through your fax or email your request yet, yet. Do what I did. I, as soon as I got this letter, I called him. This is what I said. Here we go. Now I'm taking you through the call that I am talking to the tier two agent about this letter with. Here it goes. 
Okay, so there's the decline letter. It's five o'clock right now. I'm going to call him back and, and find out exactly uh, why that happened. See if my sources in the SBA know anything. All may be monitored or recorded. For Please sure. stay on the line while we connect your call with one of our representatives. Yeah, I said that by the numbers, the maximum amount that you was able, but they call you on the 15th of March, and you never, and you don't answer. Let me see. Right. Okay. Um, but, because but, you received the maximum. Yeah, it says I received the maximum eligibility of six months of working capital. I get that, but we're uh, we're doing 24 months now, so. Um, my my de decline letter says I received the maximum of six months, but uh, with the new law, we were supposed to get 24 months. That's why I sent in a uh, a modification. Yeah, I said that the maximum that we can provide is five percent, and and we are uh, dispersed over the 25 percent for six months, right? They, they what they say? No, they said that for the first time, the maximum that we can provide you was. I didn't. And I, we I got more. I got you by the reason they say that the maximum that you are eligible, okay, for a twenty-five percent, and we over disperse you a twenty-five over the twenty-five percent. But if if the maximum was uh, three times that, the, the maximum that for 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 four times for the four times the maximum that we can approve you was oh, so that you are over disbursement. So you're saying you gave me more than 24 months the first time? Yes. The first time that I applied for the loan, you gave me over 24 months of working capital? Yes, because when, when you place the numbers, let me see here, they check all the... Let me see the transfer. Fascinating, I think. You place in the income that you have here, we place you put here gross of revenues for the for, for the twelve months twenty six to AA. Cost of goods so for the twelve months you place anything, nothing. Like you your complete revenue was thirty six. I, I am not following. I'm not following it. I don't get what you're saying. Find, find your your taxes and check your transcript. Yeah, I'm going to have to find my taxes. Okay. Anything else that I can help you today? Nope. I'll find them and then I will call back. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day and be safe. Thank you for calling SBA, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. I know Mac Jason McElhome just got declined too. This is weird, man. And there it was. Staring me in the face, talking to me, even though I couldn't ha understand half of what she was saying because I don't know where she was from. I wish they would get somebody who could speak a little bit better English. And I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm saying that because this is uh, a lot of money we're talking about and I need to be clear. I need to understand you what you're saying. It's got to be precise and accurate because I am I, I, I don't understand 100% of what you're saying to me. But I do understand the... The point of it all is that you declined me saying that you already gave me 24 months of working. Uh, you, you gave me my 24 month loan already in the first one. Anybody else have that issue? So with that said, a lot of us out there that think we're going to get the 24 months, you're not because they already gave you too much. That's what she's saying to me. So I got to get my taxes and we're going to go over this again. But as far as being a kind lady, no, I don't think she was very nice at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to ruin my source at the SBA. Well, I got this source at the SBA. Yeah, I have a source at the SBA. And what they want me to do is regurgitate all this crap to you and make it sound really good. But the truth is, one, I probably don't really have a source at the SBA. And two, if I did, it's still regurgitated crap. We can finally say that help is on the way to state and local governments. Would you please get S513 on the floor if that is what you were talking about? Or were they talking about 
not getting it on the floor. Let this idol hit the floor. S513 hit the floor. Let the idol hit the floor. Let the idol hit the floor. S513 hit the floor. Oh, you like us, now give us some money. You like us, now give us some money. You like us, cause we're going out of business right now. You like us, now give us some money. You like us, now give us some money. You like us, now give us some money right now. Let the idol hit the floor. Let the idol hit the floor. Let the idol hit the floor.